Welcome back everyone and this is part 10 as you see I changed my background a bit since it's part 10 and it's kind of special so uh, Anyway, the game gets better from here on out since uh, yeah, the battles get tougher Pokemon evolve and stuff so yeah First trainer up is Kim Lee with her Vulpix and uh, I have my Ghastly up, uh, up front so uh, the thing I will do Hypnosis and Nightshade probably Hmm, at this point of the game, I don't know which Pokemon you guys have, but uh, I only have three main Pokemon I use. Croconaw, Fampi, and Ghastly. And the good thing is that uh, Fampi almost evolves at level 25, and uh, Ghastly also evolves at level 25. So, uh, evolution's coming our way. And there's also a, a mystery egg that we still carry around. I don't know which Pokemon is in there. If it's a Pichu, I'll definitely trade it to a Raichu or something. So, since I definitely love Lightning Pokemon, Ah, crap. As you saw, Super Potion is still uh, yeah, an item that uh, most of the trainers have in this route. Actually, uh, it gets difficult on from here on out because uh, they'll have Hyper Potions as well. But not now, but uh, in the later routes and caves. So, Sleep, some Nightshade, Confusion, yeah. Hopefully that uh, Vulpix will uh, get knocked out by himself. Of course not, I get burned instead. How terrible. Ghastly, what are you doing? Ghastly is hurt by its burn. Wow. I think I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center for uh, the first trainer out there since I don't have a healing item that can uh, heal actually burn. So, actually, I'll just uh, speed the video up a bit. So, uh, yeah, till a bit. Okay, that didn't take too long <laughs> because uh, my video editing skills are, uh, yeah, quite good if I say so myself. So we're at uh, the next trainer here, which is Brook. Which reminds me of uh, hmm, what's it called, Bold and Beautiful or something, whatever. Uh, anyway, he, uh, she has Pikachu, and she also said that uh, that her boyfriend isn't that good, so she has to uh, stand up for herself. Pikachu versus Guest. Interesting matchup. Double team. Hopefully I don't miss, otherwise uh, I have to go back to Pokemon Center if this Pikachu somehow knocks out my Ghastly. Since I want Ghastly to evolve, once it evolves, uh, it's, uh, it learns Shadow Punch, which is a great attack. So uh, I can use Nightshade and Shadow Punch, so not only Nightshade, and Nightshade only deals the uh, exact amount of damage equal to my level, which is 22 at the moment. So it's time for Fampy. Ah oh, crap, double team. The more he uses double team, the more chance I have of missing, which is terrible of course. Headbutt, there we go. No miss. Ah, missed again. Crap that. Slam. Bam! Pikachu is out. Gas level 23, so he's uh, equal to uh, Fancy's level. Oh my, you are strong, definitely. Up next, we have our boyfriend here. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Wow. Let's see what Pokemon you have, big bro. Elliot send out Sanjuri. Interesting. But uh, not anything to be afraid of. And, uh, yeah, if he, uh, in the old games where Ghastly didn't have the ability to levitate, uh, ground type Pokemons were actually a nightmare for Ghastly since he's also a poison type and actually Earthquake knocks it out in one shot. Since Ghastly's defense stat isn't that high, the speed stat and the special attack stat are very high, so that's great. Can't wait until I have uh, an attack like Psychic, Shadow Ball, great stuff like that. Confusion Ray. Don't know why I uh, use that. Maybe, yeah, if he uh, not, uh, hits himself, I can only use one Nightshade instead of two, so... And there we go, it actually works. So, one more Nightshade. Bang! You're out of there. Oh, he also has a Meryl. 
Meryl! Which reminds me of uh, Tracy's Meryl for some reason. It's been a while since I watched the anime actually. But uh, if there's something that I can uh, talk while I'm doing this play, play uh, I can't talk anymore. Uh, while I'm doing this playthrough, I can just say it to entertain you guys. So the Meryl. Also, it reminds me of uh, Pikachu's summer vacation. I don't know if you people saw that, saw that but uh, also interesting. Enemy Meryl is confused. It hurt itself and it's confusion. That's the stuff I want to see. Another Nightshade. Ah, he's still not uh, knocked out. Roll out. Ooh. And now that reminds me of Miltank. I don't know if you guys already beat Miltank. I uh, assume you did because you're at part 10. But Miltank is actually uh, one of the hardest gym leaders in the entire game. Since uh, at this point Miltank is uh, really good against uh, all the Pokemon out there. With his Milk Drink and uh, high HP, good defense stats. Actually if you're having trouble with that Miltank, you can also uh, trade for a Machop in the trading center. Or actually in the trading center, the, the shopping center, the department store, there you can trade uh, Abra for a Machop and you can actually catch Abra in this route where we're at. Also in the, uh, the route before, the route after Alex Forest. And uh, this one here has uh, a Diglett. The good thing about Diglett is that they don't have that much HP, so only two Nightshades will do the trick. I don't know why I put it to sleep since, uh, yeah, could have knocked it out in one shot. Oh, actually in two shots. The bad thing about Nightshade is that you can't get a critical hit. It's impossible. Up next, the Zubat. Are there any Zubat lovers out there? Because uh, if you're walking in a cave, that will change your mind. It's not very effective. Great. Now, one more! Gazam. You have been knocked out. And that takes us closer of achieving Gatsby's evolution. Another Diglett. Only two Nightshades remain. Thinking I'm gonna have to switch out to another Pokemon. Maybe Fappy can do some stuff. Or maybe I have that feature in my uh, backpack, so I can use that. Nightshade. Level 24. One more to go. Even I give. Hmm. What do you mean you give? You give up or you just said I give. Weird. So as you see I have that eater here which restores uh, 10 uh, PP points. For Nightshade of course. That way Gasly can knock out a couple of more Pokemon. Like uh, these two trainers up ahead, the, on the left side we have a uh, level 17 Magmar here, I believe. Wolf, Fire Breeder Wolf, send out Magmar level 17, ha! <laughs> How? I didn't know that. Hypnosis and then some Night Chase, like always. Yeah, I'm actually interested in what Pokemon you guys catch. You can uh, put it in the comment section or something that uh, at this stage of the, po uh, of the game, which Pokemon you have. You can also got a, a Hoenn Pokemon somewhere that I don't know about that you can share with other people that play the game. Potion. Hmm. How about Nightshade? Hmm. Nightmar didn't uh, do anything actually. The only thing he did is be uh, knocked out. Oh, I scratched. I couldn't read that, it was too fast. <laughs> and up here we have a maniac, or actually a nerd, whatever, he has some Voltorbs. Or it's a juggler. Yeah, Nerdwin sends out, he has four Voltorbs. Actually, he's gonna send out his weakest one first, then a level higher, then another level higher, and then the final one has level 22, I believe. I don't know for sure. Reach. 
Ah. Hopefully he only has one potion, otherwise uh, I'm using Nightshade for no reason since he only heals himself. Now we win. There we go. All dark. Level 16 this time. Charge. In the newer games, they actually uh, boost the. What is it? The special attack stat or the special defense or whatever. It actually boosts something, and this game it actually does nothing. It just charges, and that's it. And if you're knocked out that Pokemon, it just doesn't count anymore, so that's the useless attack, in my opinion, for the first generation, actually, uh, where they introduced that attack. Yeah, I keep on charging all day, but uh, it won't do anything. Bang. I think I'm gonna change my background for part 20 as well, so uh, it's actually like uh, if you're at part 10 you get a different background or something. Just like that idea. Here we have Voltor, yeah as I said, level 22. And now Fampi will show his skills. Ooh, he only has 1 HP remaining. Lil, come on, and that's it for another trainer, actually I'm going back to the Pokemon Center right now so I'll be back in a few seconds with some new commentary. And I'm back. Okay, uh, here's the police officer standing in front of uh, yeah this, uh, the entrance to the, the national park. Actually, we'll go there later. First, we uh, picked up this uh, TM4 here, rollout, which could be useful uh, for certain Pokémon. And here is another trainer. I believe this one has uh, Venonat, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I do. Versus Ghastly again. And uh, yeah. Venonat actually knows confusion, so uh, he can actually knock out my Ghastly if he plays his cards right, but no, he uses confusion instead, or actually supersonic. Actually supersonic sucks because uh, the accuracy is not that much. Yeah, that's just great, hit yourself while you're at it. Oh yeah, now he's using confusion, so Ghastly is going to be uh, history of soon, so I will think I'll just switch for my Fampy here. Another confusion, shouldn't do that much damage. Yeah. Headbutt. Haha, <laughs> he flinches. Nice. Another uh, super potion here, so I have to start all over again. Don't mind, since time you can always uh, knock everyone out with headbutt if they flinch. And <laughs> supersonic misses, so uh, no confusion for uh, Fampy. And that's it. Buckcatcher was defeated. Huh, I shouldn't have lost. Hmm. Yeah, that's always the reaction when you lose. Let's see. I think I'm gonna switch out here because Gas is... Uh, I think he's always going to evolve uh, one more level. But I'm gonna heal him first. And the trainer up ahead has uh, Pidgey and Pidgeotto for the guys that uh, are wondering. So, Ghost type Pokemon only if they know psychic attacks like uh, ghost attacks don't affect uh, normal type Pokemon. So I think I'm gonna switch for yeah, Fampy again. And uh, the Pokemon you can catch here are actually uh, Nidoran, Abran stuff. So some Kanto Pokemon. If you like to have an Alakazam, it's possible since uh, uh, you don't have to trade in order to get Alakazam. Since it's a game where you can get all the Pokemon. Like uh, yeah, you can get them right away without trading. Here is Bird Keeper Prime, so he has Pidgey as I expected, so Fampy will just uh, use some headbutts and that'll be it. Ah crap, side attack. That's one of those attacks that I really hate since uh, if you uh, miss once and they keep using sand attack, you'll be in a lot of trouble since all your attacks will probably miss. 
Luckily for me, uh, Fampy can actually hit every headbutt on the little Pidgey. And next is Pidgeotto, I'm gonna switch since the, uh, the Pidgey used Sand Attack. And Croconaw does know Ice Punch since I got that TM at the department store. If you want to uh, go back to there, you can get, also get Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. It's good for every Pokemon that has some uh, yeah arms that it can use, punches away. So you can actually use super effective moves and uh, win over, uh, against uh, almost every type of Pokemon. And that's how you do it. Yikes, not fast enough. Yeah, indeed not fast enough. And this house is really important for you guys that uh, are uh, training your Pokemon like EV stats and individual values. Yeah, this Pokemon here is going to check your uh, individual values because uh, you can't check those in the regular game. So if you uh, choose your Pokemon, he's going to tell you exactly how good your Pokemon is. Like, uh, yes, you can uh, arrange from uh, the EVs from uh, 0 to 31 and uh, 31 is the best. So, wow, 0, that's unlucky. That the next as attack, average, defense is 4, speed is 0, wow, and that's average, so yeah, some stats are actually 0, which isn't that good, but this is just a playthrough if you want to have uh, one of the best Pokemon ever with uh, the perfect EV, so uh, you can just check it here, and you don't have to go online on uh, some uh, EV calculators out there to actually know what your EVs are, and if you don't know what EVs are, go check out the, a video like EVs and stuff like that, I haven't actually made one myself, but there are tons of videos out there on YouTube that will explain what they actually are, so it's just uh, the higher the number, the better. <laughs> And now I'm going to pass through this entrance here. Usually there's a bug contest here and looks like uh, we have another uh, rival or something here talking that uh, why there is no bug contest and stuff. I don't have time for this nonsense. And he's going to say, what are you staring at? So he's actually in not a good mood since he wanted to have a bug catching con- uh, can't talk anymore. A bug uh, catching contest today and uh, yeah, I don't know when they will start again. Well, in those contests, you can just catch Scyther, Pinsir, Beedrills, Butterfreeze and stuff, so really nice Bug-type Pokemon. And uh, this lady over here will give you Quick Claw, which is a health item that actually uh, lets your Pokemon attack first, even though you don't have uh, more speed than your opponent, but that only works 10% uh, of the time. Could be useful for a uh, Rock-type Pokemon like Geodude that doesn't have a lot of speed. And this lady here has a shop. Pokefan Beverly. Go Fampy! And actually that was in a good move since uh, Schnubble actually lowers the attack stat of uh, my Fampy through to his ability Intimidate. Akans also has that ability and Arcanine as well. Maybe some others uh, like Luciana maybe, don't know. And the rain is actually really annoying, but if you have a water type Pokemon like me, you'll actually be glad it's raining since water type attacks get boosted. Some headbutt should do the trick, unless she uses a uh, super potion. Let's see here. Bang! Yeah, critical hit or critical hit. Critical hits actually don't uh, affect the, the stats, I believe. Like, uh, if your attack got lower and it's a critical hit, that actually deals the, the uh, amount of damage you want to. I could be wrong on this part, but it's just something I noticed. Let's see here. There's another trainer here, and this is a schoolboy here. That has a uh, Oddish and Voltorb. Oddish, a poison type grass Pokemon, so confusion or uh, fire type attacks will definitely knock this one out. And the bad thing is, if you have a, a fire starter like Kulava or Typhlosion already, I don't know if you only train your starter, then uh, you can actually have a bit of uh, <laughs> unlucky stuff going on because uh, fire type attacks will deal less damage true to the rain. But uh, you don't always have rain, you can also have uh, like uh, a snowstorm and stuff, so. This game actually uses weather and uh, the day and night time uh, if you are actually playing at night. And I'm actually going to use Confusion since I don't want to uh, waste all my nightshades on the stupid Oddish. 
and all the rice is just going to use super potion, which is not something I want. Come on, hit yourself! And that's how you do it! Kazam! Ooh, almost. We almost have Haunter. I don't think my Ghastly can knock out this Beedrill since it knows a Twin Needle. It's also an attack that... Uh, now, only Beedrill knows Twin Needle, I believe. He's focusing his energy, so uh, up next he's going to use his Twin Needle, so... Fampy, it's your turn! Twin Needle actually uses it twice, always. That's why it's called Twin Needle, <laughs> not Triple Needle or something. Ah, crap! No! Hmm, maybe I should flail here. And uh, maybe he'll use um, Focus Energy. <laughs> Could be uh, easy to try out, but don't take any risks. Crocodile is here to save the day. More Twin Needles? How? Oh. Ooh, critical hit! Actually, this Beedrill has caused me a lot of trouble. All my Pokemon are almost knocked out through this stupid Beedrill. Ooh! Damn! Only 7 HP remaining, but Dragon Claw in the face, and uh, I will have Hunter, which is way better than Ghastly since he'll learn Shadow Punch, which is actually really great to uh, have in the uh, upcoming Jing. Uh, gem now the ghost type gym leader is Morty which has uh, all ghost type Pokemon actually the entire gem only has Ghastlies and Haunters and Gengars and there we have another evolution you'll see it on the the screen uh, where the Pokeballs are like Ghastly is going to transform into Haunter there we go all the way Crocodile, Fampy and Haunter up next we'll also have Donphan so my team is evolving which is always pretty uh, nice to see Anyway, uh, that's it for another episode, since I'll just cut it in here, we're already at 22 minutes, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, we're already at uh, part 10, actually, and uh, yeah, part 11, I think I'm going to the gym leader and stuff, so uh, I look forward to that, and uh, yeah, uh, with that I'll just learn Shadow Punch, uh, instead of Confusion Ray, I believe, yeah, there we go, Hunter will learn Shadow Punch, so, Guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all with the exciting part 11. Till next time.